what's going on everybody prestige here and today i want to bring you guys a video on how to set up dual joysticks for farming simulator 22 base game equipment there's already a few dual joystick videos out there and fdr modding has a really fdr logging has a really good video out there already on how to set up dual joysticks but his video only works for his particular mods for the fdr logging mods so I wanted to make one that's going to be for base game equipment that would show you guys how to use the excavators and, and the tree harvesters that come with the Platinum DLC expansion and also the tree harvesters that are in the game. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do... I'm okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your main menu of Farming Simulator. You're going to want to go to Options... And under options, you're going to want to make sure you have under input controls, have game pads and steering wheels turned on. Make sure that is turned on so that it will detect your steering wheel and your game, your joysticks. I want to also add that I play with a Logitech G920 steering wheel while also playing with these joysticks. So um, these will work with the steering wheel setup. If you want to play without the steering wheel, it may uh, there may be a few couple of different controls as far as your accelerator and your you know turning right and turning left but this will still tell you the basics of the controls that you need to run the excavators and everything else so game pads and steering wheels make sure that is turned on once that is for sure turned on you can go back and you can go to start your game okay so once you have your game back up again and you're ready to get to work what you want to do is you want to pause your game you don't want to go to your controls right here then you want to make sure you click on gamepad controls down here so then as you're going through these settings there's only a few that we have to look at we don't have to worry about any of these but the first thing you will want to make sure you do is when you have your joysticks con controls set up you want to go through these this list and delete clear out every single control that you have so click on it and then click your backspace click the next one click backspace click the next one backspace so that is uh, going to be the best way to, to make sure that you don't have any interference with anything. So clear out every single control that is already put in here default for you because those will not work properly and it'll be all jacked up. So just go ahead and delete every single control for your joysticks that are there by default. Then after you do that, you're ready to start. So once you get them all cleared out, what you're going to want to do is first steer right steer left for me i've got that hot keyed to rotating left and right with my left joystick so steer right click on it rotate right that's going to automatically set your steer left for you steer left you rotate left on the left joystick look down look up look right and look left I've got all four of those hotkeyed to the D-pad on the top of the joystick. A little analog stick here. Look down is programmed to pushing down on that stick. Look up is programmed to pushing up on the right stick. Look right is programmed to pushing right on the D-pad on the right stick. And then look left is pushing left on the D-pad on the left on the right stick. And then, um, these are also preference. These aren't super important. You don't have to do those, but I like to be able to look around without having to touch my mouse or anything else. So I've programmed the looking around buttons to be able to look around while my hands are still on the joysticks. So that is up to you. Same with the steer left and steer right. That is optional. That is up to you, but that's how I have it set easier that way. And if you play with a steering wheel, then you won't really need these steering controls. And it actually could mess you up playing with these activated and a steering wheel also. It messes me up sometimes. So I'm probably going to be clearing these out soon. But if you don't have a steering wheel, that's what I've got mine set to. Rotating right, rotating left. Next, you're going to be looking under the vehicle tab right here. Under the vehicle tab, you're looking for attach tool. Under attach tool, I, I set that to button number two on my right joystick. That is the button right here for your thumb, right below the analog stick. The thumb button at the bottom. 
Button number two. That will attach tools to your excavator. Next, also still under the vehicle function, tool function one, set that to button number three on my left joystick, button number three. What that one does is that turns on the processor head of a tree harvester for an excavator. Button number three, the left thumb button on the left joystick, tool function number one. Next, you got tool function number two. That is my trigger. On tool function two, it's going to be my trigger on my left joystick. What that does is that actually cuts the wood. Whenever you, you drive up to a tree, you pull that trigger, it'll cut it, and then you can continue to press the trigger to keep processing that tree and cut it again and again and again until it's done. The rest of these are not needed, so we'll move on to the next one. Once again, tool function two is the left trigger on the left joystick. Next, we are going to be going all the way to the crane tab. You're looking for the vehicle crane tab. Under the crane tab, you're starting at the very top. Rotate crane right. You're going to be taking your left joystick. You're going to push it to the right. That's going to automatically set rotate crane left to pushing left on the joystick. What that does is that spins your crane around. Raise crane arm. That's going to also be your left joystick. Pull it back towards you. So pull back on the left joystick for raise crane arm. That's also going to automatically set lower crane arm to pushing forward. Raise crane arm two. You're going to set that to pulling back on your right joystick. Raise crane arm two, pull back on the right joystick. Lower crane arm two, push forward on the right joystick. Once again, setting raise crane arm two will automatically program lower crane arm two for you. Extend crane arm. What that's going to do is that's going to extend a... Some of the tree harvesters have arms that can extend further out and, and retract them back in. I set a extend crane arm to up on the D-pad on my left joystick. So left joystick, push up. Retract crane arm. Left joystick, D-pad, push it down. Open crane tool. I set this to my right joystick, right Thumb button sets it to button number four. That is the right thumb button on the right joystick. Open crane tool. Close crane tool. That is the left thumb button on the right joystick. So right joystick, left thumb button. Right there. Let's close crane tool. Rotate crane tool right. Going to set that to your left joystick. D-pad, push right. Push right on the D-pad on the left joystick. The rotate crane tool right. The rotate crane tool left. Push left on the D-pad button on your left joystick. And that is all there is to setting up the buttons for your crane for the excavators. And there's and one we, more setting that you're going to want to make sure that you take care of before you do any key bindings and, and before you try messing with the excavators and wheel loaders or anything. And that is going to be in your settings. You're going to have to load your game. This you can't change the setting from in the menu. You have to load your game go to your settings in the game and then look for easy arm controls. You're going to want to make sure that is off. If you leave that on, it will... It will mess with your cranes after you get your key binding set and it will not, nothing's going to work right. So make sure you turn off easy arm controls. Should be, it's pretty close to running a excavator realistically, but pulling back on my left joystick, picks up the main arm, pushing forward, drops that, drops it down. 
pulling back on the right joystick, retracts this arm in, pushing forward, puts the secondary arm back out. Closing and opening your crane tool is your right joystick, buttons three and four, that's the thumb buttons over here. Rotating that crane tool is your D-pad, left and right. And then, of course, we can go to a tree harvester here. To turn on your tree harvester, it is button three, the left button on your left joystick. Turn it off and on with that, that turns that on. To extend your crane arm, it's up and down on the D-pad. You see it's extending that out. Same controls for the arms. You can swivel around with this. Same way, same controls. It still works for this type of processor as well. And then if you wanted to cut a tree, you would push the trigger on your left D-pad. Some people like to put the triggers to your accelerators for le turning left and turning right. And then they'll set like this the bottom thumb button on the left joystick to cutting trees instead of using the trigger. I like to use the trigger. It feels more real realistic that way. And that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions or concerns, drop them in the comments for me. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also keep an eye out for me to post another video on how to set up the, the wheel loader controls. So that will be coming out next. And the link to that video will be in the, in the description of this video when I get it posted. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.